Well, this is my co-op work term reflection. Really quickly, I did an opinion of people with tattoos and I was a tattoo apprentice. So the competency I feel I've strengthened the most during this term is adaptability. I had to deal with new factors every day, so design, scan, placement, size, dot, and client goals are constantly changing variables. Um, not to mention, I also had to adjust my communication style and how I work to best collaborate with the client. So I feel what I've learned from this experience will help me a lot in the future, um, just especially in regards to freelance. I became more aware of how things go wrong and how I can avoid making those mistakes again. Um, my process became more refined to the various ways I had to adapt to work and how I had adapted to the work in the past. So for example, um, for adjusting and changing designs, um, I used to work on that independently, but I found it was just better to work on it um, in front with the client, just so they can immediately tell you if they don't like something. So I found this to be more time efficient and helped us reach a more mutual and satisfying final design um, with the client. So stretching aside my comfort zone this term, learned how to refer to past or similar information and apply it to new experiences. So I was asked to tattoo the wrist for the first time when I was really nervous and I thought back to my experience tattooing the forearm. Ribs are hard to tattoo because the skin is so thin, it's really easy to blow out lines. So blowing out lines is just when the needle goes too deep in the skin and the ink expands. Um, I thought of my experience on the forearm just because the area is similar in that it blows up really easily. So by referring back to the techniques I used to uh, avoid blowing up lines on the forearm, um, my experience tattooing the ribs turned out really well. So during this experience, I learned about myself and how I can avoid falling into negative mindsets. When tattooing the ribs, I was really nervous going into the tattoo. I was focusing too much on what could go wrong and assuming I would fail. By focusing on how I could learn and grow from the experience, I was able to remain level-headed. I found just focusing more on having a growth mindset was really beneficial for me um, just to remain calm and avoid having a fixed mindset. So competencies I would like to develop further in the future are learning growth and emotional intelligence. So I want to develop learning growth more just because at times I felt I could have asked more questions or I didn't ask the right questions. So Steps I would do to improve this competency further are just practicing seeking out further guidance, developing plans, and taking more photos to reflect on my progress. Um, I want to develop my emotional intelligence more just because I find with the busyness and challenges of, of everyday life, um, emotional well-being often gets placed on the back burner. I want to be more sensitive to how I'm feeling in the future just to avoid additional stress and burnout. So steps I would take to develop this competency are by participating in more activities that contribute to my emotional well-being, reflecting on my mental state by writing, and being assertive to take more time for myself.